I went in and I didn't really have an idea of what I was going to write about, other than this guy that I saw on a bus one day. This pissed up guy got on and he was like, he was deaf and he was shouting his head off at everyone, like making a nuisance of himself, like, I love you to everybody and <laughs> grabbing people and, you know, everyone was getting freaked out by him a little bit and he noticed me straight away. Like most weirdos do, you know, they know me, I'll talk to them, you know, they, I don't know how they do it. They come over and I, I, was, I was kind of like, you know, give him a little hug and I was ch kind of trying to chat to him and stuff and it just got to me that, that nobody really could be asked with him, that they didn't have the time for him, which kind of just made me think, well, you know, no wonder the world's the way it is. If, if, People haven't got the time for each other. I've been down so low, people look at me and they know. Yeah, it's just saying, yeah, basically what his life is. They can tell something is wrong, like I don't belong. I went in with Egg and I was like, well, the only thing I can think of that I'd want to write about is this guy, you know. Uh, on this bus, and I was telling him about it, and yeah, and we thought of the song Wonderful World, you know, the Louis Armstrong song. I really want to write a song like that, but I don't believe it. I really don't believe it. We ended up changing it to kind of, I know it's a wonderful world, but I can't feel it right now. You know, it's not totally pessimistic, and it's not too optimistic. It's right smack bang in the middle. And I know that it's a wonderful world, but I can't feel it. 